Hi, my name is Tomas, and you're watching Casual DIY Channel. In today's video, I will be making a table for my pillar drill. Check out the video. So what are the features I want to introduce to this table? Well, there are quite a few. First of all, replaceable plate. Second of all, fence. Next, some dust extraction. On top of that, I need to be able to operate the table um, height itself. Now, at the minute, the whole contraption is at the back of the pillar drill. This is the lever that you can raise and lower your table. Now, them being at the back and having the whole table in front will make it very awkward. Now, I'm also thinking about how to adjust the table itself. So, when your piece is clamped to the table, and you need to adjust it slightly. You don't want to unclamp everything, just move the whole table somehow. So I'll try to add that feature to the table as well. Okay, let's see how I go. First of all, let's look how we can sort out the handle issue. So I'm using this hex coupling nut. I will try to connect this to this uh, rod from the handle, but obviously it's not big enough. So I'm using a metal drill bit just to get rid of the thread. And as you can see, it fits like a glove. Now I'm gonna drill some holes and tap them um, so I'm able to actually lock this uh, hex coupling nut in place with some small bolts. That will mean it will be secure in place. Now I can cut a 10 millimeter rod and secure it in place. We'll continue with this a bit later on. For my table build, I'm actually using a melamine board 18 millimeters in thickness. Um, I'm gonna need two of those with the exact same size. Now, as you can see, I'm cutting some T-tracks and I do need quite a few of them. But I'll explain later how many and what you need exactly. Okay, so the base of the table will have two short T-tracks like so. I'm using a straight bit that's exactly the same width as the T-tracks and in my case that's 19 millimeters. I do um, that in several passes to make sure the T-tracks are flush to the board. The second board that's the top of the table uh, will have two T-tracks running along the whole width of the board itself. I'm also going to be using this aluminium profile, so basically it's got um, T-slots on every single side and I'm pre-drilling four holes in this and I'll show you exactly a little bit later why so many and what they will be used for. To attach the T-tracks, the best method I've got with if the boards are not thick enough, I'm using a five minute epoxy and to be absolutely honest, it never went wrong on me. So that's what I'm gonna be using, five minute epoxy to attach all the T-tracks in this project. In the end, I decided I'm gonna bolt my table onto the pillar drill table and I'm basically pre-drilling it so I can attach some hex drive head nuts to the board and um, to the table I'm making and then bolt it onto the pillar drill table. I found it to be the best method of attaching my table to the pillar drill table. It's safe and secure and to be honest I don't think I'm going to remove this uh, table ever. Now I'm attaching another T-track to the end of the top of our table that will allow us side movement. Now this aluminium profile, as you can see, has got four holes, two over here and the other two on the other side. So I can attach the top to this uh, aluminium profile and then that aluminium profile will be attached to the main base of our table. And thanks to this aluminium profile, we'll be able to shift the top of our table left to right and front to back. So on the X axis and on the Y axis. And now you can see it in practice.
I'm using a hole saw to basically make a large hole and uh, that will allow us to have some cookies in there, exchangeable. Um, as you can see, I'm actually using a Forster bit to drill two more holes on the border of the hole saw that will allow us an easy replacement of the cookies that will be able to place in here and basically they will act as our scrap. Now I'll show you how to make them. I'm using the same hole saw I did before. I've traced it on the um, 18 millimeter MDF, used the jigsaw to cut it out roughly, double-sided tape, back again on the hole saw, and I'm using a straight bit with a bearing, guided bearing, and make a 100% look-alike of the hole saw. That means um, we'll have a perfect cookie that will fit in that hole, just like so. Perfect. Easy to remove, easy to install, flip it over. Okay, so now it's time to actually finish our adventure with the handle to lower and raise um, the table itself. And the easiest solution to this problem, I think, will be one of these. It's a flexible extension uh, for drill bits, basically. You put that in here, you've got the drill bit there, whack that in a drill, and then you go, it spins the whole thing. So I'm gonna install that, um, but I'm still gonna use this contraption here because I need to attach, obviously, this um, extension onto the handle itself. So I'm gonna use this. But before I can do that, I need to grind down the bolt so it fits in that extension, like so. And now I can install the whole contraption and see how it works. Let's go up. And let's go down. Perfect. No issues. My fence also doesn't have to be really massive. You only need a straight edge, really, for your uh, drill press. So I'm using this aluminium profile. Yes, again. This time it's a larger one. So this will give me an ability to add some clamps on top of it and at the front as well. And when it comes to the dust extraction, it's a PVC drainage pipe that actually is flexible. You can stretch it and more or less it stays in the shape you put it in. So that's perfect. I can attach it here, have it just right where the drilling is. So that will be my solution to extract the dust. Yes, it's not perfect as inside you've got those rigids, but I think it will still do a fairly decent job. I'm just cutting the aluminium profile to the right size, in my case 50 centimeters. Also got these corner attachments and that's what I'm going to use to attach the fence to the T-Track itself. I'm just cutting two squares, four centimeters by four centimeters, making a hole inside one of the sides and I'm going to be installing the hex drive head nuts again so I can securely attach them to the aluminium corners. Pretty in a hole that will allow us to thread a bolt through it um, that basically will go into the T-Track itself. Now I can attach the fence and that's it. Simple as that. Works like a treat. Okay, so let's take care of the hose itself. I've actually cut off the ends. I've left a little bit of a piping over here because it actually perfectly fits my shop vac hose. So one end is actually sorted. Whereas on the other side, I want to have a bit more direction in what I'm gonna be uh, vacuuming. So I'm just gonna use some hot glue to hot glue uh, this extension here, just inside so it doesn't move. And I've got this nice um, end that will be a lot easier to direct it exactly where I need it. So I'm just going to hot glue that now. To attach the pipe um, to the drill itself, I'm actually using a, some pipe clamps. One larger one that goes on the pillar from the pillar drill and the other one obviously on the hose itself. They are quite handy as they come with nuts. I just used a short threaded rod to attach the whole thing together. I want the table to look nice, so I'm attaching edge banding. This one is 
peel and stick basically and it seems to be fairly good quality I'm just trimming the ends and sanding on the corners I'm gonna go around all the edges for better movement I'm adding some wax onto the bases I'm attaching the shop vac and let's see how this whole thing works Now we can see the side movement left to right. I'm gonna go left. Really simple process, easy to do. How about front to back? Let's try that as well. Again, super quick, super simple. And as you can see, works like a treat and the dust extraction is actually quite good as well. Okay, let's take it back to the uh, zero position. Ever so easy to take out the cookie, flip it over and you've got a clean slate. Same with the fence, easy to move, easy to adjust and really solid when clamped down. Right then guys, so what do you think about this table? I know that not everybody will need the ability for the table to shift left or right on the X or Y axis. But for me, what I've noticed when I was working with the pillow drill, actually it's a quite handy thing to have. It's usually easier to clamp everything onto the table and then move the table rather than unclamp the work, put it in the right place, clamp it again, I think this way is a little bit quicker and easier. Now the fence itself, super simple again. Uh, it doesn't need to be complicated, but the way it is, because it's the aluminium profile with all the T-slots there on this top and on this side, it will actually give you an ability to attach multiple jigs and clamps and everything you need to the fence. And I think that's fairly important. Now, with the hose itself, the dust extraction, absolutely fantastic. I couldn't ask for anything else, to be honest. And it works just as I wanted to do. Um, not sure how long this um, pipe will last. Um, after me flexing it all the time, God knows, time will tell. You see, in the process of making these cookies for the table, quite easy to do, and you can batch a lot of them in one go. Doesn't take long at all again really easy to take out put another one in bob's your uncle t tracks at the top of the tabletop obviously additional clamping i think it's overall very simple but it gives you a lot of flexibility in your work for me that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this project i have to say i did and it will come in so handy in my future projects but for now, that's all. Take care.